Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Try not to die! So are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king or priests or some sort of scaly community center? I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I've been getting a good signal, but what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? Oh, really? Maybe their leader figures are bred, sort of like ant queens. I wonder if relocating a Meyerlurk king would prompt the others to move. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Absolutely. I'm glad to finish it up, but I bet you're even happier, right? Just one last chapter now, and it's much safer, I promise. Oh, and here's your payment. Two big boxes full of ammo. Think of it as insurance, in case the next chapter isn't as safe as I predict. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh?
We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first?